In this section we're going to look at more efficient ways of working with Word 2010 and we'll start with a blank cam, blank document or no document at all and we want to go to the file tab on the ribbon and we'll want to select new. Now we want to uh, create a uh, look at templates here so we already have templates available, calendars, agendas and so on plenty of templates available and we'll want to create a new template from an existing one so we'll click on that. We want to go to the chapter 16 folder and open authors template so we'll create a new template from this. Now here we have uh, our document here now let's say for instance we want to go to the page layout uh, tab and change the uh, change the theme of this document let's say we want to change it to grid here let's say we want to uh, remove the watermark from this document and uh, and so on we can now save this as a template now we can then use this template um, as a baseline from which to create additional documents we'll save this here in the chapter 15 uh, uh, chapter 16 uh, folder as about the author's modified template so now we have a modified template with which to uh, create documents from in the uh, file menu when you go to new uh, you will uh, you'll see the the different templates here we have uh, your templates where you've got for instance here a cover uh, letter with a resume and any uh, t some templates that you download from websites including office.com uh, may appear in that folder there and you can let's say we want to create a, a document from that cover letter with resume then here we have uh, our base template and we can modify uh, modify this to suit our own needs now we'll close that for now let's have a look at styles now here we have on this text here we want the home tab here um, we have our, our main header here title it's called now let's say we want to modify this let's say we want it to be uh, let's uh, say we're going to change it to Calibri font we want it to be 36 points uh, we want it to be italicized uh, and here we can now save this as a new style so if we roll over title we can see that we can reset it to that or we can save selection as a new quick style so we'll call it title italic and we can save that as a new style and now we'll see that title italic and title uh, are appearing here in the document if we click on that title title italic we can uh, switch between different styles and create our own so this is how we can uh, create styles and templates for use within any word document once you've created them you've created them and they'll always be there in the next segment we're going to have a look at uh, changing the default program options in word 2010okay now we can look at the default program options within Word and we're going to want to start with the, uh, a, a new blank document here now the options are under the file tab in the backstage view down the bottom left here uh, just above the exit button you'll see options so let's have a, a look through we've got our general options so show mini toolbars these are the little tool tips that, uh, that appear over words with um, basic formatting options on them we've got a live preview you can turn this off the live preview is when you change a style or something in the document um, while you're selecting a, a new uh, type of formatting from the ribbon it will show you there and then what it's going to look like now if your computer isn't very powerful or perhaps you're running a netbook or, or something that doesn't have an awful lot of power you can turn this feature off if you find uh, that it's slowing down your computer there are three different color schemes for Word 2010 blue silver and black if you didn't know uh, that you can change that uh, we'll, we'll change that to black now and there you go we can see the new color scheme here go back into options 
we have a screen tip style here, uh, personal details and uh, options to uh, uh, open email attachments with the full screen reading view. Then we have our display options, uh, page display, uh, always show particular formatting marks on the screen. Some people like the paragraph marks um, to appear. There are printing options here, print background colors and images for instance, you might, you might want that. And uh, here are the, uh, the proofing options here, including options uh, for uh, custom dictionaries and to be edit, able to edit the word list in your custom dictionary so that you can, for instance, write a, uh, a specific dictionary for work and then you can distribute this to your colleagues. Uh, settings for the grammar and spell checker. Save options here, including an auto save every 10 minutes. You can turn this, uh, uh, increase or decrease this uh, if you want to. I wouldn't recommend turning it off. And the default save format at the moment is the default Word 2010 format, but you could make it the Word 97 2003 format, for instance, for backwards compatibility. You have your language settings. Now, Word 2010 is much better than any other version of Word before it in detecting your um, your default language on your computer, but even occasionally it will get it wrong. So you can change your language uh, here. We can say that uh, English UK is installed and uh, we can install other languages. Uh, here let's find uh, English US. We can add that and we can set that as the default language should we want to. There you are, English US now as the default language. Then there are uh, advanced options here, advanced editing options. Uh, we can turn off uh, the ability to click on hyperlinks in, uh, in documents. You've got cut, copy, and, copy and paste settings here and uh, there's a tremendous amount of control available to you and, uh, and so on right down to uh, display, print and more general settings at the very end. So that's all the options and it's worth having a, having a look through and setting Word up so that you have it uh, with all the options that you want it to have. When you're happy press the OK button when you're done and you may need to restart Word in order to have those uh, settings work. In the next segment we're going to have a look at how we customise the ribbon uh, in Word 2010. Okay, so now we've looked at the default options and customising the default options for Word. Let's have a look at how we can customise the ribbon. Now this is new in Word 2010, you couldn't do it in uh, Word 2007. You find it under the File tab, on the Backstage view under Options, and here we have a Customise Ribbon uh, section. Now we can see the main tabs here, and we can turn them on and off if we don't want them. We can also see the tool tabs that will appear under certain circumstances. So how can we customise the ribbon? Well let's say we want to look at the home tab here and we, we want to add a new group to it. Now the home tab by default here you'll see it's got clipboard, font, paragraph, styles and editing. So we want to add a new group. Let's say we want to add a, um, a group here, we'll click um, rename this group and we'll call it uh, give it give it a little symbol um, we'll give it a little text symbol and the display name we'll call it final so now we've got a, now we've got a, a group called final now we want to be able to insert um, other other commands so let's have a look at the all commands here and we'll go down and we want uh, the inspect document uh, command so we'll have a look here uh, very very near here we are inspect document we'll add that to our uh, our uh, new group and we want the mark as final um, command as well so we'll add that uh, there it is, Marcus Final. Now when we press OK 
we now have our new group on the home tab here final but we can also add our own tabs if we want to let's go into customize ribbon again and let's say we want to add a, a whole different tab let's say we want to have a new tab um, and call that final yeah. then we can add um, whatever commands we want to this let's say for instance we want to rename this we want, we want it to be uh, we'll call it other <clears throat> now reason for that is here on the left hand pane we have a whole series of commands that aren't in the ribbon for one reason or another perhaps they appear um, in some of the, the tool tabs or for other reasons but they don't appear by default in the ribbon so let's say we want to add the allow multiple pages uh, to this group and we can name this uh, rename these groups as well let's say we want add to favorites let's say we want align objects for instance now when we press OK we have a whole another tab here with our own uh, functions on that will obviously appear they're contact sensitive so they'll appear when we can use them and you can uh, take that group and you can move it wherever you want let's say we want to move it there after the review tab and so on we can even get this final uh, custom and we can move that onto our other tab and as we can see here final has now appeared in our other tab and we can customize the ribbon to our heart's content so that's it for customizing the ribbon in the next segment we're going to look at customizing the quick access toolbar Just as you can customize the ribbon in Word 2010, you can also customize the quick access toolbar. Now for this exercise, we'll uh, start with a, uh, a new blank document. Now the quick access toolbar is here along the top. We've got save, undo, and redo buttons, and there's a little down arrow next to it. And you can tick these options here to add commands to the quick access toolbar. But at the bottom of this, we have a more commands uh, button here. Now this allows us to add whatever we want to the quick access toolbar and also if we select it here we've got little up and down arrows so that we can uh, select the order that uh, commands appear in. So there's all the popular commands here and, uh, and there's all the commands that are available in Word. All the commands available for each tab on the ribbon, um, commands that aren't on the ribbon that you might want in there. And uh, and all sorts. Let's say we want lock on the quick launch tab uh, toolbar. We want to put that at the end. And then when we press OK, we'll see that we have all these new commands here on the quick access toolbar. We can also click show below the ribbon, and we can show it there. Um, some people may find this easier to see if you're using the arrow glass um, effect uh, on your Windows. Again, we can show that above the ribbon as well. So it's very easy to customize the quick access toolbar and the ribbon and they're always there, customizations are there for all of your documents and if you want to reset either of these at any point just hit the reset button and say yes we'll reset all customizations, yes we want to reset it and everything is then back to normal. More's the, uh, more's the point here uh, we can import and export customization files for the ribbon and for the quick access toolbar so that uh, we can uh, transfer our custom settings onto other computers with ease and simplicity. So that's it, that's how you do it. Uh, that's all for these videos. I hope you found them informative and uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>